peripheral vascular disease is a restriction of blood flow that people can get to their legs, which leads to decreased circulation to the muscles of their legs. The, there's lots of different causes, but the underlying etiology is either atherosclerosis or the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries or some type of inflammatory process. So people who are at risk of getting peripheral vascular disease, it's obviously associated with age. So anybody over the age of 65 has a higher risk of peripheral vascular disease. But the people that are at most at risk are smokers, people who have diabetes, people who have high cholesterol, and people who are overweight. All those things are associated with peripheral vascular disease. So peripheral vascular disease is an underlying sign that you, ha you may have disease in your arteries in other places, such as your heart or in your arteries in your neck called your carotid arteries that could lead to stroke. So people who have peripheral vascular disease have a three to six times higher risk of dying of a heart attack within five years. So because it's a narrowing of the blood vessels within the arteries of your legs, what most people feel when they have symptoms is cramps in their legs when they walk. And so with those narrowings, you're getting less oxygen to your muscles in your legs. And so as you walk, your muscles secrete an enzyme that give you a cramp. And when you stop, that cramp goes away. If you have those symptoms, those are signs that you might have peripheral vascular disease. A lot of times as you get older, it seems that your activity level decreases. You have aches and pains. And so a lot of people believe that it's just a normal part of aging where they can't walk the distance that they used to. And a majority of the time, if they talk to their physician about these particular problems, simple things can be done to improve that. And sometimes these problems turn out to be more worrisome, like peripheral vascular disease, in which case, again, those are signs that other problems are going on with blockages in the arteries in your heart, as well as blockages in the arteries in your neck. And so we really want to see those people early so we can prevent death from heart attack and strokes. This Healthy Highlight is brought to you by Dartmouth-Hitchcock and Ledyard National Bank, working together with our community partners to improve your well-being.